right, this is a Joan Rivers words of advice rating. Um, it's a death day rating. Um, I had to include one on the countdown, and this was, you know, the death day ones are my personal favorites, like I said before. So, and yeah, I had to include it. Um, yeah. And this is number two on the countdown, so tomorrow we will be doing the um, gift predictions, the anniversary of my channel. Um, so, look forward to that. Anyway, let's get into Joan Rivers' reading. Um, so she's a comedian, actress, writer, producer. She was a television host, and she had a long comedy career. Um... So, she did stand-up, film, television, theater, um, literature, and her genres were observat observatal, comedy, insult comedy, shock comedy, black comedy, blue comedy, and improvisation comedy. So, yeah. And, let's see... Her filmographies were, you know, a lot. She had a lot. Um, so, Mr. Phyllis and Other Funny Stories, the next to last Joan Rivers album. Um, what comes with a semi -le legend most? Live from London, The Podium. Um, Don't Start With Me, um, was one of her, you know, ones. A lot of collaboration ex uh, appearances. Um, she also got awards like Woman of the Year. She got Outstanding Talk Show Host for Joan Rivers Show, the Daytime Emmy. And she got the EDA, um... Female Focus Province, um, Best Speaking Word Album, Grammy, Diary of a Mad Diva. So, yep. Yeah. Yeah, she had her own stuff going on. Um, I love Joan. Um, I've always laughed at all her jokes, so I was like, I'm gonna do Joan Rivers for my countdown. Um, so, let's get into her cards for her last day, and we'll see what's going on. We have the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is bad faith, villainy, danger to self and spirit, loss of a friend, or treasure keepsake, abandoned project. So she probably had one last project she was working on, or she wanted to do one more thing before she, you know, passed. But it was kind of like, I, I have to cancel this because I feel too bad, or I don't want to do it, or I don't feel like moving. Whatever the case, she didn't want to do anything. And then we have the yeah, Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is a warm, loving person, absent-minded, but a unique vision. A good parent or a friend, a sought-after advisor, um, practical, honest, happy, poetic, and loved. This could be one of her friends, this could be one of her family members, this could be her own spirit, like, you know, you can have moments where you talk to yourself, or, you know, you kind of have a moment, but, um, yeah, I believe that her family was around her, and that's probably why it's coming through, um, probably her daughter, um, then we have the hermit, the hermit is, um, attempting to know oneself, inner, uh, strength, um, Deception withdrawal from her fights. Um, infinite patience, caution. Sometimes the card represents insecurity and hypocrisy. Um, withdrawing of emotion, secrecy, fear of discovery, unused knowledge that can help someone else. So, she could have been withholding a lot of information. She could have not told somebody a lot about what was going on, um, you know, the less they know, right, but, um, I feel like it was for somebody else's good, I'm guessing, so, 
Then we have playing cards, which are always fun. We have the Ace of Diamonds, Paradise, Perfection, Contentment, Money, um, Body, Soul, Gaining, Wealth, um, Item of Beauty and Value. So there's something, there's something of value there. Um, and with the the Ace of Diamonds, it's usually the Ace of Pentacles. So there's something being offered. There's money or there's some priceless um, artifact from Joan Rivers being passed on to somebody else. There's the Queen of Swords or the <laughs> Queen of Spades. Um, sorrow, often widowhood, um, intelligence with the knowledge of the darker side of the world. One who has gone from happiness to failure. So it's kind of um, like declining, maybe not having too many gigs, maybe just, you know, not feeling 100%, not feeling like you did enough in your career, which Joan Rivers was, you know, she did a lot of things. She was more improv, she was more like a speaking person, she was a good host, so she was really entertaining to watch. So, um, to... To have her feel like she didn't do enough is just absolutely ridiculous. Um, yeah, she inspired me to write some of my own comedy when I was like 15. Um, it killed at the talent show, but you know, I didn't win anything. So, total scam ripoff. It was, you know, rigged. Um, but still, um, uh, yeah. I love Joan Rivers. She's so cool. Um, then we have the Six of Diamonds. The Six of Diamonds is generosity to those less fortunate, kindness and gifts from the heart, um, well-being that comes from the kindness of giving. So she probably gave a lot to charity um, in her will or passing. Um, so there's a lot of that. And then we have the Two of Swords. Two of Spades. Um, so, Two of Swords, balance and conflict, alternatively, friendship and harmony, a stalemate, or a truce. So, she could have made truce with a lot of people that she didn't like, um, made truce with some people that she might have, you know, said something that they got offended with. Um, she tried to make good her last moments on Earth, I believe. But, like, she she had strong beliefs, and she was a very, you know, strong-willed person. So, I understand that sometimes you bump heads with a lot of people that are on either the same wavelength or on the same, you know, way up, you know. Uh, it's that ego thing, and that's why I tell you guys not to have an ego if you want to gain a lot more. Because sometimes if, like, you know, certain companies believe that you can't work with people... Or you kind of have that type of ego about you. They don't want somebody having an ego and then, like, they lose sponsorships or something. So, you know, uh, you have to kind of think about that for the long term. Anyway, we have the Seven of Diamonds. The Seven of Diamonds is naive, innocent, progress towards wealth and personal gain, moving away from old ways into new growth and hard work. So, words of advice, <laughs> work hard and, uh, you know, just give good advice. Alright. Let's see. Give the Queen of Diamonds. The Queen of Diamonds is extreme wealth, magnificence. And grace, opulence, security, liberty, um, generosity, and intelligence. So, um, this could be her, how she viewed herself, or it could be somebody that visited her and, you know, was very, you know, forthcoming, very, you know, warm. Mm, excuse me. Just, you know, there for her. Um, could also be kind of a shrewd. But, you know, some people are, um, I think Joan Rivers was Jewish, so 
Um, it could be one of her Jewish family members that she um, got along with um, that came to see her. So, you know, <laughs> I have a couple people like that in my family. Like, when they come in, they're just, like, shrewd and mean and stuff. But, like, you know, if, if you started talking to them by themselves, they are, they kind of take off the facade, and they're, like, really down-to-earth people, so... It's all in perspective, really. But yeah, overall, it's, you know, uh, this person's, you know, first impression might be a little bit standoffish, but yeah. Anyway, we have the devil in reverse. So, um, recognizing there's a problem. So, there could be a little bit of a problem, it could be a big problem, but it's kind of, it could have been. Um, with her own comfort and how she was feeling. Um, so, like, everybody was rushing around like, oh, this needs to be done, this needs to be done. Um, she's not comfortable. Um, she could have been in the hospital, she could have been at home, but there was something wrong. Um, she wasn't feeling too well. And then we have the King of Spades, which is the King of Swords, in reverse. Um, so... Uh, beating a dead her horse, um, perversity, cruel, and, um, estuary person. So this could be, um, I feel like there could have been a bit of a spat. Um, I feel like this is a familiar, uh, energy. It could be between her and her daughter. It could be between her and a family member, um, but it's kind of like an issue that's probably been going on for a while, and it should have been left in the past, um, because it's like, you know, what are you gonna do? But, um, yeah, it's kind of childish to bring up things that have been talked about so many times, and there's no resolution at all, um, but, yeah, it's... If you didn't get satisfaction with the resolution in the first place, then, you know, there is none. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's gonna go around. Um, and then we have, let's see, let's see if I can do all these cards in a few minutes. Yeah, I have a, I have a lot more. Anyway, <laughs> we have the Jack of Spades. So, it could be children child, um, seeing beyond the surface, a spy, vigilance, respect for authority, a person who is complete, a task regardless of danger, insight, uh, deception. Um, so there, there's something going on that could be a bit, you know, out of the league of helping, but also, um, you know, for their own, right? Um, from what I'm feeling, I feel like this is a little self-serving energy, but, eh, it's, it's kind of a young energy. <laughs> um, so, we have the Six of Clubs. The Six of Clubs is a burden, um, fear of the future, paranoia, uncertainty, victory, or gain, um, long delay, disloyalty. So there could be a bit of, uh, there could be some deals going on bes behind the scenes, and maybe Joan found out about some of them, um, and she was just kind of like, you can't do this. Um, so, a bit of a spat, <laughs> a bit of a spat. Um, so, five of wands, um, competition, rivalry, or conflict, youth, um, assimilating their elders future of constant competition labor and strife so um could be that um yeah usually people that um have children and they're celebrities their children don't really do that well and it's that celebrity thing some do some don't but um yeah I, I feel like um this person might not want to work in, like, the industry because of reasons. But, yeah, it feels like it's going to be a long and drawn-out thing. So we have the Three of Clubs. 
in reverse. Looking ahead, expansion, rapid growth. Someone giving help in order to gain future influence, treachery, a problem demolished. So, like I said, kind of, there's somebody trying to grease the wheel for somebody else to take over, like Joan, like Joan's job, Joan's role in celebrity, um, reporting, stuff like that. Um, and I believe it was her daughter Melissa, but I, I think there was a long drawn out argument about it or a disagreement of, uh, pay or something to that effect. Um, I don't know. But it seems like it's a drawn out one. And so the Four of Swords, um, in reverse. So, inability, um, a continuous movement forward. Gathering wisdom or counsel, a desire for a loss, backdoor influence. Like I said, it's going to be a long, drawn-out thing. Kind of no contract signed, kind of like an easy-come, easy-go kind of thing. Um, because nobody can agree on what they want. Um, so, we have the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is naive, um, innocent progress towards wealth and personal gain, moving away from old ways into new growth and hard work. So it's, um, you know, it's kind of in between now. Like, I feel like it's kind of like they're celebrating Joan's life and all this, and Joan's kind of, um, you know, kind of enjoying it, kind of, you know, just enjoying company, I guess. Um, there's Ace of Swords in reverse. So, complete disaster, violent, self-destructive behavior, um, obstacles and infidelity, tyranny and embarrassment. So, there was a lot of embarrassment there. Um, and I feel like it's has to do with the daughter. <laughs> like, Joan finds out everything. Um, like, I, I've, I've always felt like Joan can tell the future or tell you the truth no matter where she is or what she's doing. So, I, I believe that she kind of is more intuitive than people believe. And I do believe that she found out about, like, a deal that was being made. Um, Alright, and then we have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is rushing into danger despite a dis dispute over a person of the opposite sex, um, naive physical, mental, and spiritual incapacity. So there could be somebody who's trying to cash in on Joan and actually have... Um, Melissa's cell rights to her own mother's personal life, living with Joan or whatever, you know, the novel's gonna be called. But, like, it kind of wants to take a lot of the royalties away from a book or a project or, you know, something to that effect. And nobody gets any money. But Melissa, being naive, thinks that she's, you know, smarty. But, um, I think that's why Joan got all upset, because, like, the project itself is a good idea, but it's kind of like, you could personally, like, do that and not be, like, like, I'm gonna say this, with books, like, you can, like, actually promote your own book. You don't need, like, producers, you don't need marketing teams, you don't need that. Usually, if you have a book, you can just say, hey, I wrote a book, if you want to read it, it's available here, here, and here, and if you, uh, you know, want one it's mailed to you, just hit me up on Twitter or whatever. Usually, that's how it works, but, like, these, you know, middlemen, they want a cut of the proceeds, and I think that's what the fight was about. Um, yeah. I'm kind of getting a confirmation that that's kind of what it was about, but, like, not 100%. It was some type of project. I know that much. Anyway, we have the Four of Wands. We have the Four of Wands, a false sense 
of security, uneasiness even in the face of full security, never being sure of what one has, ruthless, um, holding onto possessions, happiness distilled by subconscious inhabitants. Um, so, let's see. Um, so, all her stuff has a memory, is that, that's what that's talking about. Um, so, you know, there's some sentimental and there's some, you know, but, like, I, I do believe that Joan and her daughter were fighting a lot about certain things. Like, don't be selling out the name of the family or me because you want money or whatever the case. And, um, like, because anybody who's coming in as a marketing team with any celebrity, they're, they're wanting a lion's share of royalties. And I'm going to say this, if you're, if you're a celebrity or a celebrity person's, like, child or family member, you can just promote it yourself, like I said before. But, um, yeah, middleman just want the lion's share of the thing. Like, you could have wrote the book, you could have known this person for years, and then they want the lion's share without any association towards this person. So, you know, you kind of had to be wary of that. You had to make sure that you get the lion's share of the portion because you did all the work and you made it possible. So, you know, you have to think about the legality of that. And I don't think too many people think about the legality, but, yeah, you need to. Um, because it's hard to fight that in court once a contract's signed. Um, you could get um, prejudicial release relief, I think, um, yeah, prejudicial relief, um, what it is, is, um, it's when your contract has, like, a breach of contract, or you didn't agree to certain terms that were on the contract that weren't explained to you, it's the fourth and fifth amendment right, so, you have rights to your own personal sale, of things, so, and you can put the terms on it as you feel necessary, but you need an attorney, and you need a DA to agree on the terms that you want, so, stuff. Anyway, we have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is a warm, loving person, absent-minded, but a unique vision, a good parent, friend, sought-after advisor, practical, honest, happy, poetic, loved. Then we have the Jack of wands um the page of wands a loyal true person a man who speaks well of others a envoy a messenger a stranger um coming to help intelligent a bearer of important news um usually good so it's a lot of stuff and then i think i'm gonna do in the second one i'll do the astrology and i'll do the charms um a few of the charms are different, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, I will see you in part two of Joan Rivers. <laughs> and uh, I'll just post it, like, um... I'll post it as number two. It's going to be on the same day anyway, so watch one and two on the same day. Alright? I'm going to start uh, number two right now. Alright, I'll see you in the next part. Alright, bye.